guys, Matt's had a few beers last night, so I'm going to be doing the video today. Really excited about doing it with you all. Um, my name's Winnie. Winnie, what are you doing in here? Sorry, guys, she always thinks she's the star of the show. Wait, no, uh, no, don't take me away. I'm, I'm, I'm better than you at this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through nine of my very best sold sales items. I'm also gonna take you through a featured resell of the week, doing some really great things. And then I'll give you a look at my weekly sales numbers just to let you know how I'm going on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're here for the first time, three new videos right here on YouTube every single week. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And also, please give this video a like. It's a great way to support the channel and I just can't thank you enough. Let's dive into it, guys. The first item that I've got for you is a plush toy. And if you watched my recent trip to the thrift video a few weeks ago, you'll very much know what this one was. So let's dive into it. It's going to be a fun one. Well, I'm really happy to be able to bring this one to you finally, guys. It was the Talking Baby Sinclair vintage plush toy off the TV show Dinosaurs that I've been able to sell on eBay for $130. I've paid just $2 for this guy in the thrift store. And I knew at the time that I'd got it that it was going to be worth a few, but I was very surprised to see it worth just $130. Pretty crazy. Um, I do think that the plush toy category is definitely one to keep an eye out for in the thrift. There are some collectible toys that can be worth quite a bit, just like this guy. Unfortunately, the first buyer after a few days, didn't actually pay for the item. I waited around two weeks to get payment. It never came through. So I did have to cancel the order and then relist it and it sold a second time. So while the sales cycle is 30 days, technically it sold twice within the space of 30 days for the full asking price of $130. Fortunately, the second buyer did pay for the item and I've received $100 worth of profit uh, for this plush toy. So a really good get, great one to start the episode. Do look out for the vintage plush toys because they can be worth quite a few. Next item up, guys, are these Asics Gel Nimbus 16 women's running shoes. Now, I'm doing quite a lot of shoes at the moment. It's fast becoming my most favorite category to sell. I found these ones in the thrift for just four bucks, and I took a best offer within the space of 33 days for $56. Take out fees and postage. I've profited $37 on a pair of women's running shoes. Now, I really like the colorway of these shoes, the yellow and the pink. I knew that they would go on to sell well. The Gel Cumulus, the Gel Nimbus, the Asics Gel Kayano. There's a lot of Asics out there, but they all go on to sell really well on eBay. So to make a 37 a profit on these ones, um, definitely look out for them when you're in the thrift. Look for your major brands and do a really good check over as well to make sure they're in good condition. And if you can be buying them between five to $10 in your local op shop, you'll generally go on to make some pretty good profit. Just like here, $37 a pair of Asics Gel Nimbus running shoes. Now guys, this next item, I didn't even know that I had. I'd completely forgotten about it. The sales cycle on this one was 159 days. It was a pair of Chippo Backs men's designer jeans. Now, I paid $25 for these in the thrift because they were brand new with tags, and I'm pretty sure the tags had about $225 on it. So to get it for what was 90% off at 25 bucks, I thought there's gonna be some money made here. Now, I've listed these up for $175. They sat around for a very long time until just during the week, I had an offer pop up for $100 plus postage to the United States, New York. So in the end, I've said yes, I've taken the offer, and uh, it worked out to a total sales price of $143. The buyer did pay $43 in postage. Uh, the fees worked out to 18 dollars and I've profited $56.41 in a 159 day sales cycle. But I wanted to put it into the episode today to say that you can spend up in the thrift. If you know that you've got a really good item that could go on to sell for $100 plus, don't be afraid to spend potentially $25 on a pair of jeans if you know you can find the profit in it. It all comes down to just being a numbers game. And if you know your numbers, you'll always make some really good profit. Now guys, I've been sourcing for items for Facebook Marketplace a little bit more this week to try and avoid those fees of eBay. And I've been able to find this Brisbane Broncos backpack for just $8 in the thrift. Now, this one was always just gonna be a Facebook Marketplace sales item because it is a local sports team in my area. So I figured it would be a really high chance of somebody picking it up. I've listed it for 40 bucks, including postage if anybody needed it, or $30 if somebody wanted to come around and just pick it up. And in the end, I've shipped it to Brisbane and the buyer has paid the full $40 for the item. Item. So when you take out 12 bucks for the postage, you take out the eight that I paid. I've ended up profiting $20 on this item, not having to pay any fees on Facebook Marketplace. And I wouldn't have bought it if I was trying to sell it on eBay because I just don't believe taking the fees out of it, it would have been worthwhile for a $14, $15 profit. So be able to get 20 bucks in a three-day time period, having my Facebook Marketplace hat on, I was really happy to get this one done. And I 
think the key message out there for anybody that's trying to make a few a few extra dollars in side income would be to use Facebook Marketplace to avoid those fees and keep the money in your pocket because that's what it's all about. Now, very quickly, guys, there was one piece of furniture that did sell this week, and it's an item that you would have absolutely seen before if you've been watching this channel. It was the Medang Entertainment Unit that I've picked up probably about 10 times now. It's always a fast seller. This one sold in the space of just eight days. I paid $50 for it like I always do, and yep, I did. I sold it for 150 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. So there was nothing wrong with this one. My three key pillars when I'm looking for furniture is it's solid wood, no damage, and a low cost around the $50 price point. Tick, tick, tick for this one, and I knew it would sell and it certainly did. So get into furniture. I've made $100 worth of profit on this one. If you have the capabilities to go and pick up a piece of furniture and go on to sell it, definitely do so. It's well worth your time, eight day sales cycle, $100 profit. Very stoked to get this single piece of furniture sold this week. Now guys, a couple of weeks ago, I had a really good run in the thrift in my third op shop of a trip to the thrift and I managed to find Patagonia North Face and a Ralph Lauren sweater, all really high quality winter gear in the one thrift. It was a really great run, but uh, this one was the first one to sell, the uh, North Face TKA 100 men's sweater. Now I've paid $8 for this one in the thrift and I've listed it for $38.95. So it has sold in the space of 10 days and when you take out fees and postage, I've been able to profit $18.34. So I think for anything like long sleeve shirts or t-shirts or you know long sweaters like this one, if you can profit somewhere around the $20 price point, I think for a single item of clothing, that's a pretty good result. So I was happy to get this one done in a fast space of time. Look out for the North Face, you'll always do well. Now, personally, I'm very excited, guys. The footy season is almost here. Can't wait for the footy to start. I'm still selling my footy boots. Don't worry about that. I've been able to find these Ligra 2 Nike men's footy boots in white. They were a little bit used, to be honest. They weren't in the best of condition, but they are a quality men's football boot. Now, the size was helping me. I think this one was a slightly larger size, around 11 or a 12, and it's gone ahead and sold for $59.99, the full asking price. Take out the fees, take out the postage. I've been able to profit $37.59. This was a pickup in the thrift for just seven bucks. And I knew at $7 that there was gonna be some money made. So to get a next day sale on eBay, I really do think that the footy boots are a great one to be selling over the next few weeks. You've probably got another four weeks, I'd say, until the footy's definitely well and truly underway on a local level. So get out, find the footy boots in the thrift, clean them up and sell them because I'm making quite a bit. I'm selling these every single week and they're making me some pretty good money. Let's talk DVD sales, guys. And I wanted to go back to the haul that I had for 88 brand new DVDs purchased in the thrift for just 60 bucks. It was an awesome haul. I listed them all up in the very same day. And so far, my update to this very point after a 39 day sales cycle is I've been able to sell 27 of those DVDs and I've sold them all for $245.60. That figure doesn't include the $4.50 postage charge as well. So you can add that on top. $245 in sales, a profit of $185, and I've still got another 60 to sell. So I wanted to put into the episode today to highlight the fact that I've been able to sell 27 in 39 days. They do sell well on eBay. Look out for them in the thrift, find the ones that are worth a little bit of money, and also just pinch the ones that are sealed because I think I'm selling quite well in the sense that they are sealed DVDs rather than used, and um, yeah. Awesome to get 185 so far. Looking forward to this one, probably finishing up at about a $500 profit once they've all sold. Now you guys know how I love my ASICS shoes. Well, I've got another one to round it out here. I've been able to sell these ASICS Gel Craze TR men's running shoes. They are plain black and they were looking pretty cool the minute I picked them up. I've paid just $4 for these and I've got the full asking price within the space of 30 days, $59.99. So take out fees, take out postage, $40.63 on a pair of men's running shoes. Now, if that's not enough to uh, get you guys going out and finding these shoes, uh, I don't know what it is, to make $40 on a single pair of runners, just crazy. Um, I'm, I'm trying to up the price. As you can see here, I've sold a couple of pairs of ASICs now around the $60 price point. I sold the uh, footy boots as well for $60. Initially, a couple of weeks ago, they were $49.99. But I've gone, well, let's just see at $59.99 if they still sell. And sure enough, I've had three sales this week around the $60 price point. So maybe I'll even go up a little more. Maybe I'll go 65. It's all dependent upon what the shoe is and I'm slowly learning what the better shoes are. But um, to make 40 bucks on this one in the space of 30 days, the ASICS running shoes, my goodness, they are a great item to sell. 
So they were my 10 best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully you got some value out of those. You can find them yourself in the thrift and go on and make some really good profit. I wanted to get our featured reseller of the week on now and uh, I've been really trying to get this guy on for a couple of weeks. He's been on my hit list and uh, he's got a ripping YouTube channel. He's my UK mate, Lars, and he goes by Lars Bourne on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and everywhere else on social media. You can't miss him. He's got a ripping channel. He speaks a lot on YouTube about Facebook Marketplace, furniture, phone, and bike flipping. There is sort of his three key main areas and the sale that I've got for you today was a Trek 1000 aluminium bike, a road cycling bike that he picked up for 70 pounds which is working out to about 125 Aussie and he's gone on to sell it for 275 pounds back on the face of the marketplace. So about $425 Aussie. So there was around about a $300 uh, Australian dollar profit here on this item. It's an area that he knows very well. He knows the road bikes because he does a bit of cycling himself but he doesn't have any fees associated with eBay because he's always on Facebook Marketplace and he does a great job. So he's just ticked over a thousand subs on his YouTube channel. He's big on TikTok and uh, he has a really good grab on Instagram as well. So go and give him a sub on all channels. Uh, he's a ripping bloke and I really want to get him on. So well done, mate. Awesome sale there with the road bike. You're doing a very, very good job. Let's dive into the sales numbers, guys, and give you a look at how the week has gone for me. We are looking at the 1st of March until the 7th of March. We'll pull the table up and I'll give you a look at how it's gone. I've been able to sell 42 items this week, which is pretty much exactly the same as what it was last week, actually. Uh, cost of goods, $414. There was a little bit of retail arbitrage purchasing this week, and uh, that's resulted in that cost of goods for sales being slightly higher. So total sales, $1,475.15. Uh, profit of $1,000 and $90.35 with a profit margin of 74%. So look, it's been a really good week this week. I've actually been really happy. I, I sort of spoke on Tuesday's video around placing a bit more of a focus on Facebook Marketplace. And I've now had six sales this week out of those 42 come on Facebook Marketplace. So that's gonna help me at the end of the month from a fees perspective, no doubt. Um, look, they were items that could have gone on to sell on eBay, but I just got the full price done on Facebook Marketplace. So um, I'm gonna continue with that for the, for the rest of this month and we'll just see how the fees look uh, uh, when it's all said and done. But um, you know, to get $1,475, I think the last two weeks was about a $1,600 and a $1,700 week. So the consistency is definitely there. I'm listing probably about 10 items a day on eBay. It sort of dropped away from 15 a day, but I am listing now seven or eight items onto Facebook Marketplace. So I'm still doing about 17 to 18 listings a day, um, but I'm hoping that there's a few, for, a few more Facebook Marketplace sales to come. Um, so good start to the week, nothing different, all going well. Um, you're gonna have another three videos come out here on YouTube this week. I'm gonna do a, a vlog style video on Tuesday. Uh, we'll do a trip to the thrift on Thursday. That's going to continue. And then we'll do uh, obviously another lot sold next Sunday. So YouTube's going really well. I'm enjoying the process of making these videos. I'd love to know in the comments, what are you enjoying the most out of the videos that I'm making? I wanted to raise that today uh, as a bit of a question to you guys. I'm really enjoying all three formats, but I wanted to know what your favorite format was that I'm currently doing. And I can place a bit more of a focus onto that based on the feedback. So let me know. Um, we'll wrap it up there, guys. It's been an awesome week. Hope you've had an awesome week. Let me know what your best sale is in the comments below and um, look forward to catching you in the next episode. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.